I'm, I have option to create folder here. I don't need to go uh, to manage uh, repository and then create here and then come back to manage application. Right, and the problem with with uh, going into the you know manage item and then creating a repository before was that when that repository was being created, it was going into the root repository yes. and then it wasn't visible as soon as we created yes. it. Yes. But you're saying that you fixed that. Fixed that. So, so now it's yeah. no longer going into the root. Yes. So now it will be visible and yes. it will work appropriately. Yes. And okay. a teacher feels that uh, only uh, I have only uh, three items because uh, what what teacher has to do is he has to go and create the items. Mm -hmm. He has to go and create the test and then uh, 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 blueprint. So only these three things a teacher has to do. So if you give many options, they might think that oh, so many things are there. I don't know what is that. Instead of that confusing the teacher, you just take out of that and uh, give the uh, only specific things. And he can anyhow he can do it uh, through manage items and create the folder if he wants. Mm -hmm. So we can do it in that way. Yeah. So that's why I'm not going to manage repository. I'm directly going to manage items. I'm created the folders and uh, there's a inline live preview. Maybe for these guys it'd be uh, uh, pertinent to explain that the the main difference is that if you go into manage items and you create a repository in the manage items, if you then you go to the manage test, if you want that same repository, you then have to create that repository again under your manage test because there has to be a repository for tests, items, blueprints, and digital assets all uh, in order to to do that. And, and, and there is no compulsory that uh, the structure what you have in manage item, you need to uh, uh, put same structure in manage assessment. So the structure can be different. There is no mandatory thing that you need to, uh, same thing what you have in manage items, the same thing has to be there in manage assessment. So you can, uh, uh, based on the requirements, you can create different folders. So because these uh, four folders are different. And another thing uh, said, uh, when we create a course, by default, the system will create four folders. One is my uh, uh, items, my assessment, my digital assets, and my uh, blueprint. So it will create four folders. So one, once you like, like you have created a brand new course, once you log in as a teacher, you will see uh, when you uh, go to manage items, you will see my items. If you go to manage test, you will see my uh, assessment. So someone uh, don't want to uh, create a folder and they just go and add items, they can just go and create the items. They don't want to create a folder and then uh, 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 go and add the items. So they can do it uh, uh, right away without creating any folders. Mm -hmm. So that, that takes <coughs> one step less to a uh, teacher to, if, if they are uh, using so that Once piece. that's created, that those repositories yeah. are created for yeah. that course. One folder will be created. Each yeah. uh, uh, course will have four, four uh, repositories. Mm -hmm. And then the faculty members might want to break that uh, you know, they might want to create their own, uh, re their own repositories and yes. say, okay, quiz one, quiz two, quiz three, final, that kind of thing. But uh, you guys know how to do all that kind of stuff too. So. Yeah. yeah. Apart from that, this is live uh, content review. You can preview it. I love that live preview. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic to know what it looks like without having to go and do a yeah. review. Uh, the proofing is very easy now. Like if you want to review the items and uh, quickly check that, that will be very easy. So what if you have like hundreds of items? Will it still pull up this way? You just have to put boot pages. Yes, uh, but by default we have only given uh, uh, paging here. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you remember, we have not given another uh, drop down box where you can change uh, 10, 15, 25, and 100. So that option we have not given because if you give that option, if someone goes and change it to 100, uh, loading the 100 items it will take a lot of time. So that's why we have given the paging. So paging will be easy, just click uh, next, it will take you to the multiple uh, pages. Cool. It will be faster. Right? And anyhow, you have, for example, if you see here, uh, you have a number here. So you know how many items are there. Uh, in this specific folder. Mm -hmm. So this folder contains uh, 25 uh, items in that particular folder. And, then you will, and search functionality is available. So it will search not only this page, it will search entire folder. 
So the search functionality works for entire folder. So if you search something, it will search in the entire folder. And uh, there is a height where it will uh, take you to, it will give a full screen view where you don't want to say it for. Now, I assume that this is a, a, a really exact preview of what you're going to see. Yes. So if there are any issues, if there, if it's a dynamic item type that you you've entered things in wrong, it's going to show you the brackets and all that stuff. So yes. so it's going to give you a real understanding of of what it's going to be. Right here, you don't have to wait until you get an assessment and then you do a preview or something like that. Okay. So it will it will be available. The preview will be available right here. And and anything, uh, if you want to correct it, you can correct it uh, here itself. I have a question about the number. Um, we saw after the like the update that we just got that it would say there's like 35 tests in a repository, but there would only be like three showing. Is that because of the um, junk data that we were talking about yesterday? Uh, no, uh, that because of uh, the cache uh, caching. Oh. Uh, I, I faced the same issue uh, yesterday okay. uh, where I have created a new assessment, but it was not showing. So I just clear the cache because once we have updated the JavaScript, <coughs> old JavaScript files will store, still store in your browser, and that that is the older version. So that causing the issues. So what we did is I just clear the cache; it was coming. So just try clearing your cache and see whether okay. uh, that, that will be available. And then the number will change. Number numbers also change. So if it is 35, it will show 35. Okay. So it's a JavaScript that's causing JavaScript problem. So see, uh, the one I uh, explained yesterday, if we update anything. Uh, uh, anything, then before you use, uh, make sure that uh, inform everybody to, to clear the cache. We will make sure uh, how much possible from our side, but sometimes you need to clear the cache, otherwise it will not work because, because of the browser uh, uh, capability. So whenever we update, it is not required every day you go and clear the cache. That is not required. Only when we update something, the latest patch or uh, uh, latest functionality which we have released, only that time uh, clear in the cache is uh, suggested. Okay. Uh, any any other things which you need to uh, have any clarification? You need any clarification in the screen? What's the uh, item? Oh, that's is that select all items that in the gray bar mm -hmm. when you click on the it's a, it's a numeric uh, question type. Okay. No, 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 if you want to select all the items, if you want to select all the items, you click on that the uh, checkbox. Oh, okay. the one right above it. Oh. Yeah, that's you yeah. all. Yeah, that's all. So, so if I select all items, I can uh, uh, export or delete everything. Okay. Now, the move items is it is it possible to move from one course to another? No. Still within that course. For that, you need to export to the export and import. and import it. But you can move them into different folders. Different folders. Okay. Here, here we can uh, move it in different folders. But if you move, need to move to other course, you need to export it. And if you import it, it will uh, act as a new question. So it is not a reference because uh, uh, the same set of question will be created there also. But it, it will be different course. So if you edit it here, it will not go and uh, uh, change it in other. Because it's a separate copy, it's not a same copy. Oh, so you can. So if you want it, so they're technically the same question, but they're in different courses. Yeah, because but you want to keep one the same. You could change this one because yes. it's totally separate. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so if this is fine. I'll just move to uh, manage test. Um, another thing is, it, it will just show you which chapter I've selected. So I've selected. Uh, chapter physics. Show me that. Okay, so I will go to manage uh, offering and then I will go to manage, uh, sorry, test offering. So again, test offering, uh, same thing. Uh, we have given this option how many uh, uh, assessments. Uh, there and the list, and then I will go and create an uh, assessment. <coughs> so 
screen and you select uh, assessment type which assessment you want to create and by default uh, no uh, no forms no blueprint no sections by default is that, that sorry yeah. Does that assessment type make a difference if you say it's an exam or a midterm? And a, I just uh, haven't noticed that it really changes much. Uh, the thing is, uh, for the student, uh, it will not uh, make a difference. But if you want to uh, filter out in the reports, like I, I want to see it uh, mm -hmm. uh, practice test or, 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 the, or the, it's a final exam or something. So that makes okay, so uh, that's in the yeah. reports. But assessment is assessment. Uh, mm -hmm. It will not internally change. But, but for the filters and the, for the grades, those things will matter. Okay, so I'm not changing this. I'll create one more test and show you a blueprint and sections. Uh, do you have a uh, like, uh, same question like uh, multi sections uh, assessment? In the same assessment, multiple sections? Yes, I have that as we do. So select items, uh, again what we have done is, uh, we have given a light grid here. So we we'll just go and uh, uh, enter a grid here, you are seeing all the uh, question uh, stem and options directly. You don't want to remember the question code and then select it or preview it one by one. So we'll just select it and or select all. And they're ordered by the order click, click for that box. So once you select add, so all the items, again it is a live preview, so whatever is displayed in the test, it will be displayed here. 